everyone, I'm Amberly, and today we're going to be learning about Integrated Development Environments, or IDEs. I'm going to answer all your questions like, what is an IDE? How do we use them? And why do we care in the first place? It's all coming right up. Enjoy. In our modern tech era, code is all around us. It's in the apps on our phones, the programs we use at work. It even drives devices that you wouldn't think of, like gas pumps and stoplights. But did you know that the code for these programs was actually written within another program? And I'm not talking about Microsoft Word. This kind of codeception might sound obvious because clearly you would need to use a program on the computer to type your code up in, but once you did that, then what? How would you run it to see if it works? This is where an IDE comes in. Coding with an IDE offers a lot of benefits. By the end of this video, you'll understand the function of an IDE, the benefits of using them, and I'll give you an overview of the most popular ones used by developers today. Let's get started. This video series is going to be using an IDE called Visual Studio, but what are some of the other popular IDEs? Industry favorites include Eclipse, Atom, NetBeans, and Xcode. I also hear great things about brackets. But what's the difference between these, and how do you know which one you should use? Well, at the heart of all IDEs is a core set of benefits. Primarily, they can let you run your code so that you can test it and see if it works. This is done using a compiler, which is a special integrated component of IDEs. You could type all your code up in Microsoft Word, but without a compiler, the only thing you'd really be able to do with it is print it. However, it's worth noting at this time that that's basically how developers had to do it back in the really dark tech times known as the 80s. You know, when I started programming many, many years ago, we programmed in BASIC on cards, and if you dropped those cards, everything was a mess. Yikes, so glad that it's not how we do it anymore. IDEs are also great for helping you stay organized by colorizing your language using a syntax color scheme. Take a look at this screenshot from Adam. It's pretty, right? Because the syntax is color-coded, it's very easy to pick out different elements in my code just based on the color. Because this text here is in blue, that tells me that this is the name of a function. Taking advantage of syntax coloring is one of my personal favorite parts of using IDEs because there are so many different color palettes to choose from, and it is so fun to go through and pick one that you really like. IDEs also help us be more productive. Most of them have some form of autocomplete for variable names, common commands, and most even auto-close your parentheses and brackets just in case you were to forget. Not only does this save time in keystrokes, but also protects your sanity from spelling-related frustrations. So finally, which IDE is the best? This is actually an impossible question, because choosing an IDE should be based on the task at hand. Each one supports different languages, libraries, developer tools, so instead of asking yourself which one is the best, the question that you should be asking is, what is the best for what I'm trying to do? Since this video series is going to be using the C++ language, we're going to use Visual Studio because its compiler supports C++. If I were building a website, I would probably use Atom because it has more developer tools for web languages than Visual Studio does. Over the course of your career, you'll come into contact with lots of different IDEs, and eventually you'll just develop a collection of tools that works best for your personal workflow. Now that you've learned about the purpose of IDEs and how you're going to use them as a developer, I recommend moving on to our next video, Installing and Configuring Visual Studio. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this video was interesting for you. And remember, your ideas are awesome and worth building. Go make it happen. 